Welcome to Adboka Media Group. Today we have a guest in our midst. That is no other person but Cameroon finest Afro pop artist, Shemake Vivit. Hi, Vivit. Hello. Once more, welcome to Adboka Media Group. Thank you. So, how are you today? I'm good. Eh? Very well. Better. So, could you please tell us about yourself? Like, who is this Vivit? Who is the guy sitting right next to me? Uh, he is a young uh, Cameroonian artist. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I I love what I do. I do music. Yeah. And yeah, just a simple guy. Where I find my way every day. <laughs> so talking about the name Vivit, is it a name given to you by birth, or it's just a name you 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 got through your career? Mm, it's a name that was given to me by a couple of friends when I was still in secondary school yeah because I started writing music way back yeah. when I was in secondary school so each time I put down the lyrics like I tried to explain everything so vividly so yeah. they gave me that name baby, <laughs> and it was cool though and you loved the name definitely so what made you realize that music was your path? Mm. growing up I just saw myself singing yeah. Yeah, I used to sing in church and, really? Um, yeah. <laughs> so my, mom is, um, my mom is my mom is a is a Presbyterian uh, Christian. Yeah. yeah. So she used to take us in church. I used to be in the YP. Yeah. That's, in the YP. Yeah. So I started singing, and I also loved listening to music when I was growing up because my dad actually used to buy lots of uh, records yeah. in the house. So I would listen to Ancien Makosa, all those, you know all the stuff so he played a lot oh. in, in my in my choosing music yeah. that's nice it's quite interesting mm. so how how do you like how do you describe the music you create mm. your style of music uh i create i create i create the vivid world yeah that's how i describe my, my music because uh you know music now is not a particular genre yeah you you it's a, it's a universal thing so i do i do what sounds good yeah. everything yeah like give i won't say i do makosa i won't say i do r and B. I i won't say i do afro i just do good music okay mm. <laughs> spreading out good vibes sure so what make your music style unique because i believe each and every artist is unique in his or her own way so mm. what makes your style your music style unique like different from others like I, if I have to listen to this music, I will know it is vivid music. What makes it unique? Mm, I would say, I would say is my my reading first. Yeah. I think the voice also is somehow unique as well. It defines That's itself. That's true. And my intro, like people love it. Did you know that? When I just, you know, when I when I when I when yeah. I introduce myself, people know yeah I'm dropping something. And the way I put my lyrics as well. I try to make it sound really, really, really Cameroonian. Like use the the, the the local pigeon, which we use here in Cameroon, yeah, yeah, to make it to give it an identity. Yeah. So, what's your biggest music influence? Like role model when it comes to music. Um, I don't think I have any person in particular. Really? Yeah, no person. I listen to so much. But there must music. be there must be this person good. that you admire a lot when it has to do with music and you dream of. Yeah, growing up, like I used person. to admire um, Richard Bona. Yeah. Yeah, I loved his music so much. Um, yeah, man, I just want to, you know, I just want to. Every day, I'm still trying to, you know create something that will sound different for me. I don't like to I don't like to look at somebody and say, hey, I like to be like that person. Yeah. But I just as far as the music is concerned, I just like to listen to everything that sounds good to make my sound better. As for the attitude, I just want to be me. So Yeah. Okay, um 
Talking about your career, your music career, has there been a time in your musical career that which you like, I'm proud of what I did? Have you ever been through that moment when it has to do with your career? Yeah, sure. I and think when, um, when we dropped the song, Naso, really? because before we dropped that song, I used to be in a group, uh, um, Room Squad, with instrumentals, but things didn't work out for us, so we decided to go solo. So when I went solo, I started writing songs like, um, I dropped a couple of songs, uh, Remember Love, uh, You Love Me, and a couple of others. So doing music that time was just like, okay, we're dreaming to, you know, yeah. show the population what we have and stuff. And when we dropped that song, um, Naso, and the first time we were performing that song, I think that was in Limbe or something, or it's in Boya or something. And I saw the way the crowd was, you know, yeah, singing along my verse, like, man, I said, so this it is, this is, this is it. It is happening. So it gave me a lot of energy to work more and more and more. So I was really proud of myself. Yeah, that's, it's really cool. I like the song. The song, it's good. Yeah, talking about your career again, I learned you went to Dubai and you released the album on the Lion production. Yeah, I released uh, a single. I'm not okay. on the Lion production. Most people think I'm on the Lion production. I'm, not. Okay. I'm on the I Lion Entertainment. Okay. That's the name of my record label. Yeah, so I released a, a single in Dubai, a Yamo. Yeah. Yeah, which I that's the that's the last song I dropped. So tell us about the Yamo song. Yeah, Yamo is just a love vibe. Really. A love vibe. You know, soft song. Uh, Yamo means you know. Maybe no, yeah, yeah, most on game, no, that kind of thing. Yeah, so. so, which girl are you actually dying for that made you to produce this hit, Yamo? Yeah, <laughs> uh, for me, it's just you know, I, I've been in a couple of relationships. Yeah. I, I am dating, but I decide to keep my private life for now. Okay. I don't, I don't want to be open with that. Yeah. So, we stay tuned and see what. The future of the so, what really inspired you for the Yamusa? The source of inspiration. Uh, I think my life, uh, my love life, my my inspiration. Sometimes I get inspiration from movies. Yeah. I watch a lot of uh, Black American movies. I love them so much. So, I think yeah, day to day like people's story, yeah, put them together. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so what are your next moves concerning your career? Mm, big things. Like. I always like to surprise people, but really? rest assured, I have so much, so much working, so much in the pipeline. So sooner okay. or later, you're going to be having exclusive stocks. So we are looking forward to something big. Sure. Okay, today we come to the end of our first phrase of Vivit in our house. Thanks for having you here, Vivit. The pleasure is mine. We hope to see you again. Sure, definitely. Once more, welcome. Feel at home.